hands in the club, parting ways with embattled president Chris Klein. He'll be stepping down from his position in charge of the LA Galaxy. Herc, this is a topic that we have talked about a lot on this show. It's your former team. Chris Klein is gone. What do you say? Let me start with the video that we just witnessed. Um, that's one of the lamest things that I, that I see is when fans try to be ultras and they try to demand things of players, of, of coaches, especially in this circumstance, because what we're seeing here is one of the supporters groups, all the supporters groups, by the way, for the LA Galaxy are boycotting, except for one. They actually negotiated with the front office to come back. And they want a word with the players, but it's not Chicharito Hernandez, it's not Ricky Puch, it's not Douglas Costa, uh, who, by the way, there's a warrant for his arrest right now in Brazil. It's not those type of players out there that they demand answers from. They want answers from players like Raheem Edwards, players like Jalen Neal, Jonathan Bond, Jovalich. They want players like Marky Delgado. The players who have nothing to do with this, who always talk, always show face, who are out there trying to do what they can do mm -hmm. in this garbage of a situation. So that's lame, okay? Within that lameness, something happened. This video broke, went viral, and it garnered a reaction, okay? I want to, so I will give the Angel City Brigade, Brigade, Brigade excuse me, that right there. I, I want to read you a tweet that our good friend Franco Paniso um, in Miami put out. The LA Galaxy fans with Chris Klein all season. Inner Miami fans with Phil Neville in recent weeks. Red Bull fans with Gerhard Struber. It certainly feels like the tide is turning in Major League Soccer with regards to public pressure and supporters towards team. That's growth. I could not agree more. Major mm. League Soccer has never been important, has never had pressure in that sense. It now is. A fan-led movement demanded answers, demanded answers to their questions of why their club is going the way they're going. Now, Chris Klein. Chris Klein is an employee like anybody else in any type of corporation, any type of team, any type of anything, result-based. If you're not putting those results up, if you're not there and accountable, you could be on the line, your job could be on the line, and that's the case here. The most sensible thing before the news dropped of Chris Klein being let go was for him to walk away, to step away. I was prepared to come on this show and ask him if he really loves and cares about this club to walk away, to step away. That is now happened. The next thing that needs to happen is there needs to be transparency because there's a lot of people, a lot of people in that organization to do a lot of things. Do what? We don't know. I don't know. Because right now, removing Chris Klein from his job, from his post, what's that going to solve? He was suspended anyways. The team mm -hmm. can't make any moves. Guess why? Because they cheated, because Chris Klein cheated, and they got caught at cheating. They were bad at cheating. So Dan Beckerman of AEG, this isn't over. You got rid of Chris Klein. Everything's fine and dandy. The LA, LA Galaxy can go about their ways. Jovan Karofsky, he's still there, and I'm not saying he's the problem, but what does Jovan do? What has he done? Is he just a scouter, a glorified scout? Is that it? Did he found Slatan, found Chicharito, that's it? What about Will Koontz? What's he going to do? Just run the numbers? Make sure there's an actual roster in place? Greg Vanny and the unnecessary pressure that he's taken? Greg Vanny may have been one of the biggest losers in all of this because he's a very good coach and with his hands tied, he was the one absorbing the pressure and reacting in not the best way. He may be a big loser in this and it's undeserved in my opinion. How do you move on from this? There needs to be more transparency. This isn't over. This isn't it. This is the galaxy that once was great. I mean, Dan Beckerman gave this guy an extension, Seb. An extension. He gave Chris Klein an extension after all this. Finally, the pressure mounted and it was too much and it was unbearable and there was change. Sure. What do we always say on this show? We want the fans to have a voice. It's clear that they're starting to have a voice and in some big markets as well. So Galaxy fans got what they want. Hopefully they'll get uh, back in the stadium. Galaxy right now dead last in the Western Conference. Nine points from 14 games. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.